She's had my back since I was a baby. She's been watching over me. And she even put her life aside of singing, how great of a singer she is, to manage me on the road. So this was her time. I love you, brother. <laughs> yeah, we're back live with actor comedian Jay Farrow and his sister Shayna, who is also his manager. That was a clip of them talking about their relationship on Fox's We Are Family back in January. You put yeah. your singing career on hold. You majored in mass communication. I did. Originally, shout Jay, out to BCU. shout out to BCU. <laughs> your dad was managing you. He was. And then you said she had the skill set. She did, and and she wasn't taking as much. My uh. <laughs> My dad, my dad was, I, look, you know, people will ask you how much, you know, I got paid my money, I did a gig, and uh, my dad, I asked my dad, I said, how much do you think you deserve? He said, half. I said, well, sir, we not married. <laughs> right! So, uh, <laughs> I'm like, it's gotta be Shayna. It's That's gotta what it's gotta Shana. be. Hey, we were talking about breaking break, you wanna <laughs> hire your family members, but they have to be qualified. Yeah. You can't just go get a cousin that you love and yeah. put in this spot. And you, you were saying to me about Shayna. Absolutely. Shana, she knows, she knows what she's doing. She knows how to talk to people. She knows the business. Mm. She studied it. And, um, you know, um, she str she's, she's strong. She's very stern when it comes down to business, and especially when it comes down to protecting me. So yeah. she always makes yeah. sure that nothing happens Nothing happens. Yeah. Nothing you know? happens. And that, was, that was very important to me. Yeah. You know, I mean, because in the business, if you're just coming in, a lot of times you can get taken advantage right. of. Absolutely. You said you wouldn't you know, even tell people you were his sister at first. She'd I just wouldn't. go into meetings and say, I'm yeah, Shayna, because you didn't want them to think, A, that he just hired you because you were family yeah, and absolutely. for that to complicate it. We, we were talking about the complications of relationships and I've said on the show before, I was raised by my stepfather who was the dad got men for me to have. I do have a biological father mm -hmm. who I don't have a relationship with and it's yeah. something that's been front of mind uh, right. for me a lot, uh, to be honest with you. And when I read um, what you said about your father, Jay, you said in an interview, growing up, my father who was going through many transitions was tough on me. Yeah. Um, I would get beat. Sometimes my mom would have to jump in and stop things from going too far. Absolutely. Um, then at age was 17, you were in high school. At the graduation, graduation party. Yep. You forgave your father. Told him I, forg I, I forgive him. I forgive him. You know, when you, when you forgive people, you're, you're not only doing it for them, you're doing it for yourself. Yeah. You know, because you gotta look at that. My dad is a my dad is a sweet dude, one of the funniest dudes, and he's he's the funniest dude on the planet to me. So I always wanted to impress him, you know. But you know, I was just getting you know knocked around the head, you know yeah. what I mean. And then you know, uh, black families growing up, of course, that is the narrative. But you know, sometimes it will become too much. But look, man, he said, listen, I'm sorry. You know, I know I knocked you around your head sometimes when I ain't have to. But yeah. I said, it's cool because... You said he was going through his own He was going through his own transitions. And, and to have him apologize to you, even yeah. in the way... You know, every parent has their way of apologizing. There's a meme on social media that says the mom's way of apologizing is asking if you want something to eat. Are you hungry? Right, 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 you know, right. rather than saying, exactly. are you sorry? <laughs> um, but having him in his own way yeah. apologize and say, I made that mistake. And it meant so much to me because I remember when I was growing up, he told me that men don't apologize. So it was hard for him to do that. So when he finally uh, said that, I knew that it was a healing moment from him, from him as well. Yeah. And that's why I was like, okay, look at him with the Jerry no, Curl. No. <laughs> <laughs> picture of your dad and I was like, that's full force. Remember who? Yeah, yeah. Force MDs. Yeah. Force MDs. I was like, wait a minute. 87, 88. Uh, 88. He, like a slim Barry White. Look at him. <laughs> he just... Your dad is watching now and he's like, I'm not going to be too many jokes around here about my hair. Um, I love, too, that we're talking about Fierce Families. You have the Family Foundation. Yes. Absolutely. And that's your goal. You've created a foundation and, and you want to provide uh, resources for others in the creative process and yep. arts. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. The Farrell Family Foundation, all PHs. Mm -hmm. um, my mom kind of propped it up because Jay was giving a scholarship out of his pocket just mm -hmm. to, you know, his alma mater. Because mm -hmm. his drama program at Indian River High School was so instrumental in, you know, creating who he is today. So reason. he just, he wanted to give back. And he said, you know, I'm, I'm in this position. I have to pay it forward. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm blessed to do that. something. Yeah. I have to pay it forward. Yeah. So this is the 11th. Year. 11th and year. So this is the 11th, 11th year. year of the Farrell Foundation. Yeah, yeah, and I didn't, at first, I, I was very quiet about it because I'm a firm believer. You give the glory to God, you know That's what it. I mean? You give the glory to God, you know? Um, I wasn't, 
I didn't do it for the, I'm not doing it for the views. I'm not, right. I really want to help people out because there's so many of artistic children that get looked over and they get shunned and people want to say that something's wrong with them or whatever. No, they just have genius in other areas. Absolutely. You got to find that yeah. genius. That's all it is. Yeah. They learn, yeah. in, different, they learn in different ways. They learn yeah. in different ways. And it's ways. important to tap that. Yeah. You know, I was telling, we started a new initiative called the Feral 15 over the summer, where we took 15 mm -hmm. kids from around Chesapeake, put them all together in a mentorship program. And Jay tasked them with creating an original one-act play. Yep. Some of these, most of these kids had never met before. Never met. So they had two and a half hours of workshop this play, did the play, my son was in it, Jay was in it, I was in one. Yep. Um, and the next day, they performed these plays in front of all the administration faculty from all over Chesapeake. And they did great. And they did amazing. Oh, they wow. did amazing. Yeah. Okay, that is... And that our message heart. is really to the admin, like, you know, you may have that kid in class who may be, like, making a beat, not really paying yeah. attention. Instead of, like, disciplining them, go over, ha task them to, like, create a song right. around whatever chapter you're studying. Yeah. Help them thrive. Yeah.